Hello and welcome to this video series on the GIMP 2.4. Now in this video we're going to be touching base on probably our last, yep this is our last select tool up here in our toolbox. This one's called the foreground select tool and since I've already got it selected these are the options or additional functions that accompany the foreground select tool and for the sake of this demonstration we're going to leave the feathered edges off the contiguous unchecked as well and this is the default the mark foreground and the small brush usually the defaults right about in here I'm gonna go ahead and keep it closer to the small brush but not all the way over to dinky but I'll show you here in a second why and then the smoothing this is basically the default right here is number three you get much higher then it affects adversely some of the accuracy of what we will be extracting because what this foreground select tool does basically is it allows you to extract the foreground from the active layer or as in this case from the selected item and we're going to go ahead and open up oh yeah the other items here too the preview color you got three no big deal these are really irrelevant so just leave it at whatever it's set up as and the color sensitivity I just opened that up just to take a look at it I would leave that uh, again I just leave that alone at whatever it is uh, uh, defaulted at so let's go ahead and open up an image uh, open what we got here let's get this zebra guy out of the Serengeti grass plains and stick him in the desert okay so now then as you can see with the foreground select tool close to my mouse pointer I've got the little uh, what looks like a lariat just like this guy here and we don't have to be accurate accurate at all just kind of select around the item we want to extract now I'm, I'm not going to go all the way back to the beginning just for demonstration purpose I'm gonna let off my mouse button now and it finds the beginning point itself but it does so in a straight line so be aware of that just make sure you've got it out here of course it would have been easier for me and better for me actually just to go all the way up this way but for demonstration purposes here we go now then after we've done the selection it gives us the paintbrush you can kind of see that there a little bit just below my pointer is the paintbrush now what we want to do is just uh, run the paintbrush down around the item we're going to be selecting and again we're just highlighting it we're, we're not trying to fill in all the blanks or nothing just letting the tool know what we want to extract not the grass but this item right here the zebra striped donkey as you can see there's some blue right in here and what we're going to do because we copy this out now or extract this out now then these will be um, well basically invisible spots or holes in our selected item so we can kind of eliminate that a little bit by we still have the paintbrush in here just painting over these items here nothing exact here then let the tool do its thing and it brings them out okay cool and what else we got here now you see we got some extra garbage up here and down here and it's not you know perfect down here well, let's go ahead and add a little bit more of his leg here that's cool let's get a little bit more here as you can see as we do this it's adding more and more garbage that we can use to, that, that will need to be cleaned up depending upon what we what the background of the image is we place this guy on but I'm happy with this for the time being so I'm going to click my enter button and you see all the marching ants well we've got it selected now now we can use either the control keys on our keyboard or we can right click and go to our edit function now you can use the copy cut you know paste whatever we're going to go ahead and use the and these are the control functions on our keyboard we could use in place of what we're doing now but I'm using the mouse so let's just go ahead and cut this guy out of here and let's open up another image to paste him onto what do we got uh, da, 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 da. yeah let's see him out in the desert really freak this donkey out okay now anywhere you paste him on here just right click edit and again we can use the control V like Victor on our keyboard or just use this here now we've pasted them on here now you can see all the garbage up here now what we want to do is we want to clean that up a little bit and do so while these items are still selected so while it's still selected go over here to the erase button or erase tool 
and just start erasing away. And the reason why you want to do it while, while it is selected, because then the background of this image being pasted onto shows up versus erasing the entire background as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, and of course you can spend time cleaning that up. And okay, so we are going to deselect this guy now. Okay, so now he's deselected. Now let's go over here to the eraser tool and I'll show you what I was talking about. And you can see that it is erasing the background of the image as well. Now it's pretty close because I chose the background color to match this background as closely as possible. But it still looks kind of screwy. So again, do the cleaning up or the erasing while this is still selected. And there you have it. Now we can go over here to the Move tool. Wait, I'm going to hit my Control Z. You can always hit the Control Z and go back and finish up your cleaning and everything. But now I'm going to move this guy over here to the side and kind of down a little bit. This way he looks. Yeah, there you go. Go back up here and select my foreground tool. My mouse button, deselect him. Now that is one scared looking donkey. He's wondering what the heck I'm doing in the desert here now. Anyway, that's just our quick introduction to the foreground select tool. Hope you learned something from this video and the, the old imagination juices are flowing as to how you can use this particular tool as well. And that pretty much brings to a close the videos on the selection tools. Next we're going to get into some additional tools here and show you how those functions can help you with your GIMP 2.4. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.